Hello subscribers, this is yours truly, JBlue68, coming to you with yet another video. Before we get into this video, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. For liking, sharing, and commenting, please continue to do so. And tap the notification bell so you can get more videos like this as I post them immediately. This will be my first toy unboxing in a while. I haven't done one in a while. As I've said in previous vids, I've been kind of on a little hiatus reading my comic books. I've been reading a lot of comic books. In fact, after I film this video, I'm going to be reading some tonight on my patio. So, yeah. Um, um, this will be another McFarlane unboxing based off of a character scene in the recent movie, The Flash. And I think I've expressed my viewpoints on that movie. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I like every character in the movie except for The Flash. <laughs> Uh, I don't have the action figure of the Flash. I don't plan on buying one. I actually have a Todd McFarlane Flash, but it's a comic book based Flash. And I've shown that before. You can look at some of my uh, previous videos where you can see I did a, uh, I think it was a Justice League uh, um, video where I showed all the Justice Justice League's character, Justice, Justice League characters. Man, I'm getting tongue tied there. Justice, Justice League characters. From McFarland Toys. Um, I've said before uh, that a movie can sometimes, just like a comic book, a movie can be crappy, but the drawing, say for instance, on a comic book can be really, really cool. Uh, and sometimes you, you'll buy the comic book just because of the artwork. Um, and that same thing applies to movies. The movie can be crappy. But you'll buy the toy because of the look of the character. Um, in fact, although I thought Shazam was awful, the last Shazam movie was awful, but McFarlane actually did a uh, rendering of that character in toy form like this that you see in front of you. And the toy was actually really good, uh, very well sculpted. I like the toy. Uh, I just didn't have a chance to buy it. Um, if I see it again, maybe one day I'll pick it up. Anyway, um... Uh, and I do not know the name of this, this actress that plays this character. I forgot her name. Um, but I liked, I actually liked the way she portrayed the role of Supergirl in this movie. Um, I actually wish, and if you haven't seen the movie, then I'm going to give a spoiler. So you got four, five seconds before I give away this spoiler. Five, four, three, two, one. And you can skip ahead. But she's killed in the movie. Uh, her character's killed off by General Zod. Um, and I actually was hoping that they would have kept her alive. Because as far as I'm concerned, she deserves to have her own movie. <laughs> she, I, I think she could have had her, could have her own movie. Uh, we're going to go ahead and unbox this, bi this baby. But before we do, uh, we see the Flash symbol uh, uh, there at the bottom of the box. In the DC Multiverse, Supergirl. Here's the side of the box. Uh, here's the back. This beautiful drawing. There, that is really nice. Look at that, man. I love how he does. He packages his stuff. And I keep the boxes because they're so well done. Um, but I'm running out of space very, 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 very quickly. Here's the side of the box where you see her cape. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and get her unboxed. And we see the McFarlane emblem up there. Uh... We're used to seeing Supergirl, or at least I'm, I'll say we, I'm used to seeing Supergirl in her traditional uh, wear, which we see her in a tank top, a mini skirt, a cape, and a boots. She has blue eyes and blonde hair. That's the, uh, I think her name was, her real name is Kara L. She's a cousin to, to, uh, uh, Kara L, she's a cousin to Kel L, Kel L, of course, who is uh, Superman, who uh, is also Clark Kent. Oh, that's really cool. And they have the flight stand in there. I can't wait to assemble that. And then there's the card, uh, which has this, which is the uh, uh, rendering of the same uh, picture that we just seen on the back of the box. Or drawing that we just seen on the back of the box. Okay. Wow. Wow. I just like the look of the character again. 
you know, we don't see her in a, again, the typical miniskirt. Although, I, I'm not complaining about, you know, the original look of Supergirl. In fact, uh, I would like, I, I'm sure that McFarlane has done a traditional Supergirl um, toy or action figure. And when I find it, I will definitely, I will definitely pick it up. It looks like she has, looks like she has some swap out hands in here or something. Okay. And you know the struggle is real when getting these figures out of here. They really tie them down, tie them down, tie them in tight. Okay. Um, but again, I, I, I like... I, I like how they did the character, and again, I like the movie. I just am not a fan of Ezra Miller as a Flash. I, I and, and not because again, and I've said before, because of all the things that were that were reported on him and his his uh, wild, uh, chaotic behavior um, in the media. I don't like him as a Flash. Period. Uh, I'm not really even too crazy of the. The dude who plays him in the TV series either. And unfortunately, or, or fortunately, because of the movie's performance, I'm hoping that James Gunn will reconsider who he is going to cast in that role. Of course, that's a long ways down the line. It, oh, Jesus. If we, even have, if we even have a world when that happens, and... Um, and if, uh, you know, things go according to plan, you know, because we've got the writer's strike going on uh, and a whole bunch of other just, you know, nonsensical things going on in the world right now, you know, on the political uh, front and on the entertainment front and politics, whether you really realize it or not, they, that they do affect um, the entertainment world. If you don't believe me, uh, just go look at old some old videos of old Nazi Germany, and you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> How entertainment can be affected by politics in whichever direction uh, they go. Uh, politics goes. So, all right, okay. So anyway, here's the flight stand. I'm gonna put that together. Let's see. Let's be very careful there. Make sure I don't break anything. Does that slide in there or what? Okay. You know, and unlike most videos where you actually where they can edit the videos, you actually get to see me going through the the trials and tribulations, the trials and tribulations of putting this stuff together. You know. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. Yep, it slides in. Cool. And it has a little peg too right here. You know, where if you want to just stand her up and then there's a DC emblem again. Okay. But I want her in and I want her in a flight pose. Now probably and then I just want to show you too the head scope. And again, I'm sorry, I don't know the name of the actress's name. Uh, let's see the name, name of the actress's name. I don't know the name of the actress who's playing this role. Um, but that is really cool there. That is really very cool. Whether you like the movie or not, um, whatever your thoughts on it, I just thought that that was just a real, that's just an awesome look uh, they gave her. And instead of the blue eyes and blonde hair, she's actually a brunette with brown eyes. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's get this thing into position. Oh, it's like a waist hugger or something. Uh, okay. A oh, waist stand. Or whatever you call it. To hold her up. There we go. Got her in a flight pose, a flight simulation. Okay. How about that? How does that look? Let's see. 
I get her in a cool, a real cool pose here. And she can look up a tad. Yeah. There you go, Supergirl. Let me just get the camera. Move these, uh, this out the way. Uh, kind of. Let's see. Move that out the way. Kind of. Let's see. There we go. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. Okay. So Kara L. Uh oh, Kara L. My finger out of the way there. Uh, Supergirl. Uh, from the Flash movie. I hope that that's not too bright there. Uh, from the Flash movie. Um, it's still in theaters, I believe. And actually, I'm interested in going to see it again. Uh, there were some interesting uh, things that happened in the movie. And my favorite characters were, of course, Michael Keaton. I liked, the, I liked uh, Ben Affleck's performance as well. I did not like his bat suit, though. The bat suit looked weird. I don't know what was up with that, but it looked kind of weird to me. Uh, let me turn one of these lights off. That is kind of bright. I think that's a little better. Yeah. But, uh, and um, her character. Um, and then the, what was it? Uh, they, it was a guest appearance or cameo for Wonder Woman. I did not th like the cameo of Aquaman. I don't think Jason Momoa should be playing Aquaman. My feelings about him are the same feelings like I have with Ezra Miller. I have nothing against Jason Momoa. I think that Joe, Jason Momoa would make an excellent Lobo, though. Um, in DC Universe, and actually, I think Ezra Miller, instead of playing the Flash, he could probably play the Riddler, especially with all his mental atrocities going on. Anyway, so yeah, I think he could play the Riddler. <laughs> okay. Stop it, J Blue. Okay, so anyway, that's it. That's all, y'all. I hope that you've enjoyed this unboxing, Supergirl. Um, yeah, thank you all for joining me. Peace, love, and hair grease.